Yes, welcome back to another Star Made Logic tutorial. My name is Bench, and today we're going to be building a loop circuit like so that has a self detecting error uh, trigger, which will actually restart the loop with the correct delay if it ever goes out. So, this is what I use on my ships when I'm loading a new ship in. Um, it can auto automatically start the loop. Uh, for the systems that are in there if you want to use it for your jump gates and stuff or if you're playing on a server Which can sometimes get some lag when saving uh, This is a good way to make sure that it doesn't cause any issues that it will restart if it ever drops out um, So let's get in there and build it Okay, we've got our empty area here and what we'll do is we'll build our quick little oscillating light rig So we'll do it like that Up, Like so Boom, boom, boom. And this is just to demonstrate what you can do with this system, which is great. Almost done. And finito. Alright, so in the standard circle, we'll use eight of our delays. So we'll put them in here. So we'll go delay into 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 delay and then that one goes into the end one so if I turn one on it should slowly light up and go around look at that doing exactly what they should be doing perfect now what we'll do is we'll take uh, an OR gate and place that down we'll then take that OR gate and connect it into a knot like so and then we can take each of these delays and plug it in Boom, 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 C and V, C and V. Next, we're going to grab each of our delays and hook them up to our lights. So, we're going to start in this corner, and we're going to go boom, boom, boom. Go to the next one in the series, and we're going to make it go anti-clockwise. So, in this case, I am selecting or alternating between a corner piece and a straight piece. And there we go. So you'll see they're all connected up now. Now what we can do is take this and connect it into a AND gate like so and connect this also up into a uh, delay. Or, no, sorry, take the OR and connect it into the delay. That's right. And then connect this delay into the... No, wait, that's not right. So what we'll then do is grab the knot and connect it into an AND. We're going to also take the knot and connect it into an OR and into a, another knot, like so. And then that knot will also go into the AND. Finally, that AND gate will go into one of these. So we'll just say this on here. And uh, we're all gravy. So what I can do is I'll flick that. We should see it light up, ready to go. And then it should trigger, like so. You'll see it'll now start. And our light starts spinning around. Now if I go in here and say click on it when it stops, you'll see it restarts. And it doesn't matter if I stop it there, it'll restart it again. So it's got that error detection in to make sure that this clock always is running. So it doesn't matter if this lags out and causes it uh, to stop going around. Whether there's delay or decay in the delay loop that we have there. It'll restart it and everything will keep going. And, yeah, that's how you build it. Anyway, my name is Bench, and thanks for watching. Thanks for watching another StarMade video. We release videos every second day, so don't forget to subscribe.